welcome back to another episode of Figure Review. And we have Rem today. Rem from ReZero. This is her Halloween edition from Fat Company, as you can see here. This is actually a Rem I'm actually really like. She is always normally in her traditional, like, you know, maid outfit. But I really like this, especially, especially it's the Halloween time coming up right now. Um, as you can see, I have to have her pretty far back. Her box is not big, but it has some, uh, she's pretty good for her size. She has a 1 7th scale, I believe. I'm going to show you this, the front window. Side panels in the back. Here, nice window so you can see what she looks like before even getting through the box. And yeah, I'm really excited about this rim because, again, I'm no, I've always seen her, her maid outfit and it's good to see her in many other outfits, especially I love Halloween. It's one of my favorite seasons of the year. So yeah, I'm really excited about her. Let's get her out the box and in some cute shots. Also, almost forgot, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're more interested in figure review. I also forgot to note, it's been a while for figure review, by the way, if you guys don't know, you OGs who've been in the channel. Um, always look out for these official stickers right here. This is shows um, that she is 100% official. No fake sculptures here on this channel. I've made sure for that. But don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll be right back. All right, first two things we're gonna go over is the base and her accessories. She only has a hat as an accessory, but we'll go over that in a sec. The base is honestly really, really cute. It's not too big. Um, I, it could have been a little smaller, but um, besides that, I can't complain. It is plastic, nothing too special. The print is really cute. I love these colors again because I'm a Halloween fanatic. I love Halloween. The orange, the black, especially black, and the purple. Like everything about Halloween aesthetically pleases me. So I really enjoy this base and the cute little pumpkin. Again, it's just plastic. It's nothing too crazy. She does though have a metal peg, which I appreciate because nowadays most us uh, figure scales at least really big ones some of them don't have this it depends on the company uh to be honest and this i don't really care for these the reason why i've had countless figures to where this little piece here has broken off and will get stuck under underneath the the scale and you can't pose the figure anymore because this was the only support rod so i really appreciate companies when they add these metal rods because it supports the figure way better and it's less likely to break then going into the hat, I really, really love the hat, especially the bow in the back. It's super cute. It does have a little weight, I'm assuming. Oh, it's a peg. Okay, well, that's new. Um, I'm Maybe I'm just not used to fat. I don't really buy too many fat company figures. Um, some they're, they're a hit and miss for me, personally. Um, there'll be times where their figures will be amazing in the prototype, but then when you actually get it, it won't be good at all. Um, this, though... It has a weight. I like the shading on the bow. I like how it hangs off the hat. The nice shades and tones of purple. The dark purple here and the light ribbon. Light color of the ribbon. And her cute little stars. Uh, also really nice detail here. But it, from in my hands, it has a weird feel to it. I'm not sure what material this is. But I, it just feels not cheap but it just doesn't feel like very high quality if that makes sense maybe whoever has this figure you can let me know what you think in the comments below maybe you can have a better explanation of how that feels like but to me it just doesn't feel very good the paint job is really nice i'm not seeing any seam lines or anything like that um the only thing i probably could say there could be a little bit more shading on the bow i mean the bow of course the purple is really nice but there isn't too much. It's kind of like when they sculpt it, they kind of put little line shapes like that to kind of give it a nice flowing motion. But there isn't too much on the paint on the bow that I could say about. But besides that, the hat is really nice. Um, another thing actually before I scratch that, I'm not used to this having a peg. I've never seen a peg like this on a hat normally when it comes to alter and an alter is another company that you guys heard me talk about and i will do a figure review on that because that figure is gorgeous but anyway normally they put magnets underneath this and then the head of the figure will have the other magnet the receiving end and you could just stick the hat on but this is a peg the only bad thing about this is if anything, if your figure falls, this hat will no longer fit your figure, like never again. So that's kind of disappointing, disapp 
disappointing on that part. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about it, but I don't really like this because, again, like I said, this hat, it feels, it doesn't, I don't know, it just feels a little cheap. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had figures, so my figure talk has kind of dulled down a little bit, but maybe who owned this figure, you can kind of describe in the comments what I'm trying to say. But I mean, I do not like how this is a peg. That's really dangerous if anything falls, especially if you have pets. Like, I have two cats. And if any of the cats kind of knock this over, I'm never going to be able to fix this because it's stuck in her head. And that could lead to paint transfer. That could lead to a lot of problems. So let's hope my cats don't destroy anything else. But um, that's the only accessories it comes with, um, with her scale. I'm going to put her on the base and we'll get her attached and we'll guys will see how she looks all done. Okay guys, so we're back. This is at a weird angle, I know, weird starting point. But basically she's out the box, attached to the base, looking really good. I'm going to show you. I didn't want to put the hat on just yet because I'm going to explain why I don't really like this more. But she has a huge, huge hole in the back of her head, which is to me really, really a dumb idea. They really should have just made this have a magnet. But look at that. She really has a huge hole in her dome. I don't understand why that maybe because of COVID and maybe they're not lacking or having the materials they normally get. I'm not really sure how these companies uh, do this stuff, but who came up with that idea? But to me, it was a really, really bad one. I don't think they should have done this. They should have probably had it, um, like I said, with the magnet, because let's say if I ever don't want to have the hat on, I have to look at this huge hole at the back of her head. It's, I mean, if you lay her down like this, you can't really see it. So I guess it kind of blinds it. You can't see it at all. But if you have her in a glass case and she's on the, your lower shelf and you ever walk up and you look down, like how I have the camera angled up and you look down, you will see that. So that was just a warning for you guys. I'm going to get the hat on real quick. Let's see if I can figure that part out. Now again, this part is kind of really uncomfortable because you don't want to have any paint transfers when doing this. And it's hard to tell which way the peg is going. And I don't want to break it because again, that peg is not metal. It's kind of harder to get in. I'm gonna, I don't think it's in all the way. It doesn't feel like it is. I don't know if you could tell in the camera right there, but you see there's like a little bit of space. I'm really scared because I don't want to break it. So I'm just going to kind of leave it at like that. That's basically her with her hat on. It's nothing too, too. It looks really cute. Like it looks absorbable. Like Ren, Rem, sorry, not Ren. Rem is super, 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 super cute in this outfit. I absolutely love the outfit, but I really, really wish they would have thought twice on that whole hat problem. But I don't think it's in all the way. I'd rather have it up a little bit more because you can't tell from this angle clearly. You can't tell how high it is off her head. It looks like it's a little bit wonky maybe on camera, but in person you can't really tell. I really like this. This rim is super, super cute. I really, really love her expression and the outfit, like her little like witch or cute little devil. I don't know, it's just cute little devil tell witch slash maid. It's all adorable. Rem is cute. She is best girl for a lot of people. I personally prefer um, her sister. I like her sister more. But Rem is really good too. But, and oh, I also like, um, oh my gosh, I forgot her name. She's a cute little, um, she works in the library. The cute little, like she wears a pink outfit, the dress. I forget her name. I haven't watched ReZero in a long time. So I can't remember everyone's name, but I like Rem's sister, Rin more, so. Besides that, I'm really glad I got this. I really hope they have another figure for her sister so I can have them matching. But besides that, that's my only complaint in that for the um, hat. That was really disappointing. I hope they don't do that for her sister, hopefully, if she does get one. I'm going to get her in some pose. Not poses, it's not an Android, but I can do some shots, get closer detail and everything. So you guys can kind of see what we're working with quality. Her face... I'm gonna show that first. So we have her here. I'm just gonna get a close up on the face. I really like how they, she doesn't have a, a snaggle tooth in the anime, but, and here they gave her, see this little, oh sorry, <laughs> this little like tooth that's sticking out. It's like a little thing. I like how they gave that to her because it adds more like a 
quote spooky I guess value to it like she's really angry her eyebrows are furled and of course the her hair is kind of exposing her other eye uh, the ribbon in her hair is really really nice and the shading of her hair is one of the best parts about it because it looks just like it in the anime there's a lot of Rem figures that don't have that some are either all transparent so it's like a really light blue it doesn't match or sometimes some companies have it a really really dark blue and it won't match this one is like the perfect hue of that and i love how they did the bangs and the eye gap and you can see your ears through it like it's really good detail in that part so i'm glad fat company did that because there's a lot of times when i don't like when we can't see her other side of her face and i really like to see her whole face because she's really pretty like rem is very very beautiful uh, my fiance her favorite is uh rem so i want to see her cute face um you can't really tell through camera though there is a little blush on this side right here um it's not really picking it up i think because the hat is on it's covering the lighting i have a, two lights over her but this is casting a shadow let me see if i can that makes it any better you can kind of see it's like a little white dot right here then the blush is you kind of barely see it um then we're gonna go lower to her cute little cape there's a little pumpkin on it i like the detail on this especially the cute little pumpkin i would totally wear this outfit that she has because it's super super cute you cannot take the cape off or anything so everything you see on her is attached cannot mess with it the cape is really really long it's the same color of course as the hat so it matches it and then I like the float motion. It almost gives me like a butterfly, you know, like the wings and it kind of splits down the back. Um, again, it's not too much shading on this figure. It's like the same with the hat, but the, the flowing motion of this is really nice. Again, I like how it splits into four and you can clearly see that they did a lot of uh, sculpting on the back with like the lines. You can feel like the it feels not rugged. It, it has like a movement and I really like that. I don't like when figures are really plain. Um, again, you can kind of see that hole in the back of her head, but we're just going to ignore that part. And then if you go down lower, you have her tail. The tail goes all around. You want to be very careful with the tail because this is really fragile. I can easily move it and it could break. You want to be very careful. Um, also uh, going on the tail, it has a black and purple stripe or strip on both sides. Um, you can see it more clearly this side because her tail's kind of curled. The back is orange and then she flips it and then it's orange on this side. Really cool detail. Again, I really like the purple and the orange. It really contrasts really well together. I really, really like that. Um, her tail, not too much shading besides the two colors. Um, again, you gotta be really careful with the tip of this because it is really fragile. I, I'm barely doing anything and it's wiggling all over the place. It's not really stiff, so be careful. Then going down, she's not wearing any pants. It's, I don't really know what you would call it. She's wearing her garter here. It's like her, uh, like she wears for her maid outfit, but a, more of a Halloween edition spook to it. Of a nice shade of, again, a lot of the theme is like purple orange, of course, because it's Halloween, but it has pretty good detail here. There is a little bit of this tran, not really transfer, but when they painted it, let me see if I can get it on camera. I can't, but you might be able to barely see it right there right where this is my finger is barely on it there's a little bit of that orange is kind of on the purple so it looks a bit weird but again you're not going to notice that when she's way far away like that on the shelf so you should be fine there kind of angling it down her garments there no no skirt whatever you want to call that and then her thigh high socks really really cute white there is a little bit of her trim up top like a ruffle really nice detail going on but not too much it's just a plain white ruffled nothing crazy um sculpting her knees is really nice there's a little bit of shading there you could tell there's no paint transfers that i am seeing so far besides that little um i showed you a second ago the orange and purple uh shading on the back you could see like a little purple or dark color shading there her skin tone is really really nice really pale like how she is and then her shoes, I love the shoes. Again, purple, black, little medallion are here on the front. Nice, pretty bronze color. That's what it looks like to me on the camera. That's what I'm getting. And again, she fits perfectly on that metal peg. And then there's that plastic peg on this side. And I mean, besides that, she is really all there. She's really, really pretty. I absolutely love 
this figure. I only have really this to complain about the whole thing. Because again, I don't know how I can't really tell where the peg is. And if I push too hard, it could break. Or if she falls, she could break. You just gotta be really careful. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Would you give her a 10 out of 10? I'm thinking maybe... Um, I'd probably give her 8 out of 10. That hat really just messed it up for me. And also that little bit of transfer. That might be just my figure, of course, and everyone will have that figure. So if you are deciding about getting her, get her. She's really worth the price. She was only, uh, maybe like, it's been a while. Because again, these figures I ordered weeks and months ago. I don't remember the price for all of them. Um, she was, I know, under 200 for sure. And I, I could see why. The material is really nice. The only problem I could say is, again, the hat. Like, whatever that material is for the hat. But besides that... She's perfect. I love it. I hope to get her sister because her sister is, again, my favorite. But I want them to match. It'd be like, can you just picture her sister here looking so cute in her Halloween outfit? It's all, again, I'm super excited. I'm glad I'm getting my figures. I have a lot more videos coming out ready to record for you guys. And yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And please support the channel. Follow me on Instagram, uh, Facebook, TikTok, all of it. Discord. Thank you guys so much. Y'all have a great day. Bye.